Welcome back to a new tutorial, Benoît Farine for Ben Explorer. In this module, I will show you some of the different ways that we can use to import media into our project. I already have Premiere running here. I created a new project and gave it the name Essentials. And I saved the project on my desktop in the folder My Projects. The project name does not matter really and you can just accept the defaults in the project settings dialog if you plan to create a new project on your end. So what we see here is the editing workspace layout. Click here on the workspaces bar to make sure that editing is selected. The project is empty because we haven't yet imported any media. So let's import some media then. There are several types of media that we can import into Premiere. For now we will import the most common ones video files, images, and audio. I recommend you use the media that I'm providing with this tutorial to make things easier to follow on, but you can certainly use your own media as well. Okay, let's go over four different ways to import media. To import media, we can drag and drop files from Explorer or from the Finder on the Mac to Premiere. We can also use the file menu in Premiere. We can import from within the project panel and we can use the media browser panel. So Premiere offers several ways for importing media and we will go through each of them. By the way, independently from the import option that you choose, media will eventually show up here in the project panel. So let's try the first option. We will use Explorer or the Finder to import. I'll show you with Explorer since I'm using Windows. I navigate to the desktop and I open the Tutorial Files folder. The video folder shows a list of all the videos that you downloaded for this course. I will select three files. I'll select the first file, say this one, and then I hit Ctrl on the keyboard or Command on the back and click on this file and that one. And then, with these files selected, I drag these files onto the project panel. That's all there is to it. We dragged files from Explorer into here and Premiere imported them. They now show in the project panel. Let's try another way. We will import media using the File menu this time. Go to File, Import. In the File Selection dialog, I navigate to the Desktop and the Tutorial Files folder. We will open Images this time. So double click on the images folder. I want to import the first four images. I click on the first image, then hold shift and select the fourth file. Four files are now selected, so I click open. Premiere imports the images I selected and they show up in the project panel. Now I'll show you a third option for importing media. Double click on the blank area of the project panel. The file selection dialog shows up. From here, the workflow is exactly the same as what we just went through when we use the file menu to import images. I would navigate to the desktop, into the Tutorial Files folder, and select the files to import. But we already looked at this, so I'll cancel. The fourth option for importing media is to use the Media Panel. This is probably the best option, especially when you are planning on importing lots of media, and media is of different types. The media panel provides an explorer-like, or finder-like if you want, view of your media plus lots of information on your media. Let's go to the media browser panel. If the panel does not show on the group, it might be accessible from the drop-down menu here. Or we can also access it from the window menu. So I'll give focus to the media panel. On the left side of the panel, we can access drives on our system. We will go to our Tutorial Files folder. The folder is on our desktop. So I'll open my C drive, Users, expand my User folder, and from here I select Desktop. To speed things up, on the next time I open the Media Panel, I'll add the Desktop to my Favorites. So I right-click on Desktop and select Add to Favorites. Now, instead of walking through my drives, I can just access Desktop from Favorites. And now open the tutorial file folder. The display area of the panel is a bit small to work with. Yes, I can scroll, but that does not help very much. 
and a lot of information remains just inaccessible. I can resize the panel, but that interferes with the layout of my workspace and still the view is limited. So I revert the changes I made to my workspace. To revert changes, double click the name of the current workspace on the workspace bar here. That panel, like any other panel, can be opened full screen. And to view that panel in full screen mode, we can either click on the menu icon at the right of the panel name, then select Panel Group Settings and Maximize Panel Group. See, the panel's display area is maximized now. And to go back to the workspace layout, click Menu, Panel Group Settings, Restore Panel Size. That's a lot of clicks for opening a panel full screen, but there is a shortcut key just for that, the tilde key. The tilde key is located just below the escape key on the keyboard. So first hover over the panel we want to bring full screen, no need to click on it by the way, and hit tilde. That's a convenient way to bring the panel full screen. And just hit tilde again to go back to the workspace layout. And this works for any panel. Hover over the source panel, for example, tilde brings it full screen. Hit tilde again to get back to the workspace layout. So now that we know how to bring a panel full screen, let's go and import media with the media browser. Hover over the media browser panel and hit tilde. We get a full screen view of the panel. We are importing files from the tutorial files folder on the desktop. My desktop is under Users, Username, Desktop on Windows, so I can either go through the C drive here or use the favorite I created earlier. So now let's open Tutorial Files and our media files now show here. Open the Video folder and we get a preview of all the files in that folder. If you see a list of files instead of a list of thumbnails, make sure to select the icon view here. I can scroll through the folder to see additional files. I can change the size of the thumbnails by adjusting the slider down here. And if I want a list view of the files instead, I just click on the list view icon down here. But for now, I'll use the thumbnail view, so I click the icon view. Let's now look at audio files. Open the audio media folder, and we will import several files from here. We'll select this file and that one. So click on the first file, Ctrl or Command click on the second. We have two files selected. Right mouse click or Ctrl click on the Mac on any of the files we selected and click Import. The files are imported. They are listed in the project panel. Hit tilde to go back to the workspace layout. Now an important thing to understand when importing media in Adobe Premiere is that the media data is not included in the project file. The project file does not store the data of the imported media. The project keeps a reference to the media file on disk. So if a media file is either relocated on disk or removed from the hard disk, then Premiere will automatically detect that the original location of the file on disk has changed and will prompt us for the new location of the file. So in this section, we looked at different ways for importing media to Premiere. Using either option is a personal preference. I use File Import or Explorer or the Finder when I only need to import very few files. I rarely double click on the project panel, although that's a quick way to access the File Import dialog. When I plan on importing large set of media or media of different types, then I'll use the media panel. The media panel provides so much functionality and control for importing media. In the next module, I will go over the major components of the interface. We will discuss panels, we will cover the panels that we'll be using most often when working on a project.